Guten Tag, everyone! I am Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Redux mod in which we are playing as that German Empire. So right now we have no fuel. There's actually quite a few comments to get to, but let's let time go on because, well, we need to. And isolate the Balkan threat, also known as the almost, almost terror state of Serbia. Just in this campaign, Serbs are cool in real life. Just in this campaign, Serbs... We might not agree with you, but that's cool. That's all right. Let's do some Eastern Expansion, maybe. Puppet, oh, puppet Kingdoms? Yeah, let's do some Eastern Expansion then. Words. Difficulty, yeah. So, first one uh, was someone, I think, left a comment yesterday saying, check out his channel. A guy named Demir. He left a comment yesterday. He might be Turkish. Cool. Um, maybe check him out. Check out the comments from yesterday. Anyways, next up. Uh, I should play as Russia someday. As well as the Ottomans, which I'm actually thinking about. And Italy. If there's enough support for me playing, like, a lot more of the Great War mod. Redux. I I will. I totally will. I just need more time since at the time of this recording, I've got actually quite a few things planned for the future, but that's okay. Regardless. Oh. Japan. Are you going to pull Sneaky on me? Please. Please don't Pearl Harbor me, even though you have no idea what Pearl Harbor really means in 1912. You know, whatever. Uh, cool. Other comments. Yesterday, I asked you guys, what should the army's names or the... Yeah, the name of the armies that are facing each direction. So the Western Front has now been renamed to Este Kaiserlich Deutsche Heer West for the Western Front. And then the other one is pretty much, pretty much the exact same thing, but Este Kaiserlich Deutsche Heer Ost for the Eastern Front. So, you know, all the way over here against Russia. Cool. Now, I want you to let me know in the comments below, especially if you're German and you know how to speak German because it's been one, two, three, four, at least like five years since I've taken or taken any real German linguistic classes. So, what should garrison name be? I forget. I mean, they, I wouldn't say commandos, but what should they be? Let me know in the comments below. What should we rename this army group that is centered and has a purpose of guarding the coast and things like that? Let me know in the comments below. Up, oh, a couple other comments. Uh, someone says, it's treasonous for me to play Germany and not use Zeppelins. I totally understand. I love Zeppelins so much. They're so cool, so amazing. But I think instead of Zeppelins, we're going to get some fighters and try to use armored cars the best we can. It might not work out very well for us. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Oh, Gus Force Rotation is 1912. Having better naval uh, doctrine stuff would be good. We actually might need to use some of that just because, well... Eventually, we might need some more resources. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. We have 127 political power. We have some cavalry support. Very nice. Let's grab some mobile speed for more organization for our infantry. Support equipment or support company soft attack and organization and just 20% planning speed. That's really nice. That's actually really, really nice. Right here, we are going to grab someone maybe 20%. God dang, son. That's really good. 5% isn't that much, at least in my opinion. I'll probably wait to actually uh, get... Uh, I like the Falkers. Mm, I'll, wait, I'll wait for that one. You guys, rating fleet, no. More production cost for screens? That's actually not bad. O almost always. If there's red for ship designers and other things like that and research and production... Oh, the white piece. Oh, very nice. Good job, guys. I almost never do it, but seeing this, plus 30% more range and more speed and self-detection for just a slightly more cost, that's actually not too bad. I'll probably do that. Treaty of London. The Balkan League is victorious. Great. Atlantic Fleet Designer. That's what I like to see. Carrier. Eh. But capital ship, armor, and heart uh, heavy attack. Not heart attack. Heavy attack. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow, we are running out of spaces to build here in Germany. It seems like we need to do a little bit of Lebensraum for Deutschland. Deutschland über alles. Absolutely. We have another screen here beautiful. It's only 1910 screen, but you know what? That's pretty much state-of-the-art right now. We have some Eastern Expansion. Maybe we should get some Puppet Kingdoms. I wonder what type of Puppet Kingdoms we can make. Maybe Poland? Eh, we don't speak of that country here. Uh, anything else? I should use Field Hospitals. I need to research Field Hospitals because manpower is going to become an issue later on. You're absolutely right. And I'll try to get to that next. If I remember correctly. Battlefield, Battle Fleet Concentration. Yeah, I should try to remember Improved worker conditions. We already have 93% stability. It's 7% uh, more for... Um, I'm, I'm going to say no. We might be able to do that during the war, maybe. But for now, we shall go with... Ooh, reliability. I love that reliability. Research speed could be really good. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, armor. By 1914, actually, 
let's double check this. So the one on the left is pretty hard to read. They're both very hard to read. Holy cow, that's two, and that's one. So that's better overall. Let's see. Eight breakthrough versus six breakthrough on the left. Mm. <laughs> naval. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Just go ahead and get the naval stuff done. Because we're probably eventually going to have to invade the UK. Let's be real. We're probably going to have to invade the UK. Yeah. And, I mean, our industry, even though we're lacking a lot of things here, especially artillery pieces and support equipment, it's really not doing too bad. I could really use more towed artillery, but that's okay. Because right now we have a slight deficit of 3,000 guns. That's actually not that bad. As long as we have enough guns for defense, we'll be fine. Artillery, you know, whatever. But that's not bad. We're just waiting for more artillery and support equipment now. That's really, really not bad. Let's see. Armored cars, a car. Let's convert. Mm, is it really worth it converting them yet? I really want motorized, but I don't think we're really going to get motorized. We might have to just use armored cars and cavalry in the same group together. That might be what we have to do. This Because adding on armored cars just lowers your organization by more and more and more. Which I really do not like. So we're going to save our army XP and use this and spend it later on to see if we can actually use it more eff efficiently or more effectively. So save our army XP for now. Go ahead and actually build up two things of naval dockyards because we are going to have to have a high seas fleet. we definitely going to have to have that. Absolutely. Go ahead and actually lower that to four just because we might be repairing stuff at the same time. And if this gets taken away, I want to make sure that we're still making some heavy capital ships. Actually, good capital ships, because in this, in Hoi 4, the AI never knows or remembers to do that. We have to be at war to do all this stuff. We can befriend Bulgaria. Oh, Research Bureau. Oh, yeah, that's nice. We have to be at war. 1.2 million manpower in the field. General staff, not bad. Maybe focus on airships. And, I mean, maybe eventually. This is really good. Focus on light aircraft. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of claim Ostasian. Away to India. I'll claim Ostasian. Our Asian Empire. Yes, world tension goes up by two, but no one cares. Because who's going to start a great war? No one would. Why would you start a great war? That makes no sense. Ah, now we are very positive on guns. So positive on guns. I might do this for now. So uh, immediately increase our production of artillery and motorized. Actually, that's really helpful if we have motorized. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't have motorized here, which is kind of weird. Did I? Oh, do we have to research that? We might have to research for that. No, it's not there. No, it's it's researched. Can I have, oh, there it is. So we need the motorized infantry template unlocked. Oh, whoops, my bad. I went a day without research. I didn't forget yet. Gotta feel these bad boys. Field hospitals. That'll be good. We have garrisons. Well, do we not? We have normal cavalry. Hmm. Thank you. And we're actually making a few divisions here and there. Very nice. We need more support equipment, which is unfortunate, because we just put that on there. So be it, so be it, whatever. I really want to flesh out the ar these armies first. Honestly, with this like this, they probably won't be able to break through. So let's really focus the Eastern Front. So we're going to do that. There you go. And you shall be led by a glorious leader named... Uh, Bulo. Carl. Carl. Career officers, very nice. Excavation Uno, thank you very much. Very nice. 270 days, that's quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know if I can really justify that. Mm. 161 days, though. Mm. Mm. Better torpedoes. Better piercing. Oh, that, I, I wish I had another research slot. I really wish I did. For now, you know what? We're making these anyways. We could research, research that early. Oh no, we want to get this. Let's get this one first so we can actually edit the stuff on our lines. Or those cavalry cars or whatever. Armored cars. Suffragette demonstrations. What's next? Good point. And that cavalry's there just in case things go really south. There you go. Yeah. No one should really be able to beat up our line. I mean, sure we don't have it on a division on every tile. That's okay. That's okay. I think we're doing really well though. Claim Ostasian. Very good. The friend Siam offered to join Tokyo Berlin Pact. Yes, absolutely. I mean, us, Central Powers. Ooh, we might not be able to keep Italy in here because we, we might have pissed them off. Whatever, whatever. Uh, the Entente's looking pretty huge. But if Siam wants to join, that might be really nice. Mobile support, amazing. Let's grab a little bit of trench assault for more soft stack and organization, which is very bueno. Now we've got a little bit more political power here. 
93%. Oh, yeah, puppet to... Oh. We can form Poland. As well as Lithuania, Courland, and the Baltic Duchy. Aw, oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. Cool. Let's go ahead and grab anything here. Anything here. Oh, we might go to limited exports eventually. Tanks. We'll go and do that. Dalmer Motor and Gesellschaft. Very cool. Very good. We get another... Nope. No other screen. Yeah, that's why I want to produce some fighters. First of all, that'd be really good to get more fighters. But, uh... Ooh, we're going to need some of that, son. There you go. We need more cruisers. We need a lot more a lot more of everything. Oh, yeah, they're repairing. Okay. Next up... We're going to wait, build a few more fighters, and then put more emphasis on producing artillery pieces. Because artillery can just shrek enemies. It just gives you... A very, very good amount of artillery. Actually, cavalry. Ooh, you guys are... Ah, I want to upgrade you because 10 combat width is just like... You might as well just throw them away at that point. Especially with how much defense the AI has. Oh, you might as well just throw them away. Here, I don't really want to put anything on because that's going to hurt our armor. Except for recon armored cars. That might not be bad to invest in. And that does look great. We're making that stuff too. Keep making civilian factories wherever we can. We're starting to run out of places to build. That's okay. That's totally okay. Two more, and then we're going to invest in one more, and then do more dockyards. And then come back over here. Do that. There you go. And hopefully we can research more stuff, or get more space. Uh, just in case, make sure that the front lines... Siam agrees to, uh, to sign agreement. Front lines to make sure that we have, like as best supply as possible on there. That would be very, very important. So, we are pleased to announce that Siam is ready to join the Tokyo Berlin Pact in the event of a war for the colonies in Asia. They will join our alliance. Noice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab investing in Ostasian. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. So, civilian factories, day, dockyards, more compliance. Ah, oh, yeah. Very nice. And since we can't upgrade yet, we're just going to build all this everywhere because it's very nice to get. I'm purposely ignoring forts because we can build forts, huh? That's minus 15% penalty. Trenches. When leading an assault, you should have attacked in multiple directions to reduce that. This costs just a little bit less. It's item of Bulgaria. Oh, and now we have the Bu second Balkan War. Ah, oh, here we go again, man. That's a case. Do we have any trenches? They might not be tempted to attack me there. Hmm. Where's the place that would probably get pierced pretty hard? Well, probably right there. Give me one trench. I'm thinking that place would get hit pretty hard, and the Ottomans are having a really bad day. And China's also having a bad day as well with the Baiyang government. Can I send you any volunteers, Ottomans? God dang it, I wish I could. German equipment agreements. German revision of the army. Okay, good. I, I don't remember them asking me, but... Alright, well, whatever. You know, I guess we'll support you anyways, regardless. And there goes the Socialist Republic. Probably not the first time we're going to see them die. You guys, come right there. That'd be great. Ah, field hospital is good. We need more support equipment before we can put them on. It's almost 1914. Go and grab better guns. Since we have a surplus of guns now, we might as well just make sure that they're really, really good. Uh, infantry equipment, good, good, good. You know what, do that. I'm actually going to train a second batch, but a smaller batch. There you go. For the Western Front. I don't want to get my directions mixed up. And I do have a cup of great Deutsch Buttermint Tea. I'm not sure how to say it in German, but Buttermint Tea. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. Does anyone need upgrades? You guys are looking pretty awesome. Uh, the Imperial German Army can probably not be beat. Well, at least let's hope so. Let us very much, very much hope so. All right, invest in most Asian. Very good. And awesome. Let's get some Japanese German company. Let's really make sure that we are buddy buddy with each other. Good. Make sure that we're guarding our border. Austria, for the love of God, please guard your border with Russia. This is, you know, when I played as Austria Hungary. The Russians, they were pretty strong. Not gonna lie, they were pretty darn strong, so I wouldn't discount them at all. Oh, oh my god, that's so much attack. We don't really need that yet. Mm, I really want to do this stuff, but we should wait. Let's just go ahead and grab... Yeah, land for 20%. 20%, that's... That's so nice. So nice. Uh, 
Luxembourg. Ah, the Gamoda is very good, very good. You know what, since we're here, go ahead and grab Dispersed Output so we can just build more. Just build right now. And can we... Oh, I can do that. Yeah, more divisions, cool. You know what? Give me half of you. Just give me the fifth army already. So we're down to nine. Give me half of you. Uh, actually, give me half of that. Come over there. Twelve. Come back. Boom, there we go. And you will be led by... Von Einem. Uh, sure. You can cover all the way down there. So now we can do that. And now we can just put you right there to make it so much easier for us. Nice. And that way we know that everyone here will be over in that army. Actually, we might as well do the same thing over here, too. It's so gonna be, like, a little smidgen of y'all. Come over there. Give me a smaller smidgen of y'all, and then give me a smaller smidgen of y'all over here. Kind of try to balance things out, so give you one, two, some Bavarian infantry, one, two, one, 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 two, that's pretty close. First flight across the Mediterranean. Very nice, very nice. We're still out of fuel. Germans needing fuel? What? No, they never run out of fuel. Never. Alright, and this army will be led by Von Bello. Bilo. And then Max Von Galwitz. Nice. If that's the case, bring it up to six. And then, boom! There you go. We should be good. And we have the cavalry here just in case to go wherever they really need to. Japanese German company, great. Queen Dao Agreement, rule Germania. How about we go to Way to India? That might be fun. Crown, destabilize. Oh, that might be fun. Let's do that. So let's go to Way to India. Let's see what happens. Even though we should probably focus a little bit more right now on military advisors, focus on the true enemy. Activation of the Schlieffland's plan will give a bonus to the attack against France. Threaten Holland. Or we make friends with them. I might just make friends with them. And have war with France. Just slightly more world tension, that's all. Just a little bit more. Ah, there you go. Population supports the government. Absolutely. Why wouldn't they pop support us? We have their best interests at heart. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Train your planes. Thank you very much. Zeppelins. We'll work on those a little bit later. That's all right. Go and train that too. Get up to 100. Having as many fighters right now will be very nice. Do you guys need any more training? You might have deployed... Yep. Maybe you guys need just a little bit more training. It is November 1913. I am honestly very worried about this line here. Very worried. I don't know what the Austrians are thinking, but it can't be good. And Bulgaria actually is only fighting the Greeks. They're still losing. No, hold on. They're fighting the Serbs. Barely. And Montenegro. Okay, so not Romania. Once Romania gets in the conflict, then it's probably all over for them. Which is good for us, I suppose. Not really, actually. We much prefer... Go and grab that. Von Stein. We much prefer a strong Bulgaria, a very strong. We want them to be the Prussia of the Balkans, uh, led by the Na Grand National Assembly. L Why? Yep. L no, you don't need liberalism. Go agrarianism. There you go. That's that, that's much more interesting. Russophobia. Okay, no, maybe not. Oh, maybe we like this path better. Yeah, that, this path is definitely better. Much, much, much better. Just make sure you join here. The Bruges. Uh, Vardar Macedonia. Adrianople claim this. Cool. And we should be done with a way to India. Very nice. Next up, we shall choose focus on the true enemy. Yes. But I'm not going to schlieffen, really. Like I said, I really want to focus on the Russian Empire. Because Austria is going to need the help. And if we can take them out, that'd be nice. I don't know why they're in the same alliance as the Entente, though. Hmm. I guess technically they were part of that, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I could be able to match them. Mm, just in case. Go up to 6. Go up to 20. I really don't trust these guys at all. Now we need more guns. Hmm. So be it. More guns. We got plenty of motorized. That's awesome. We got some trench assault. That's awesome as well. Let's grab some chemical... Ah, I like this. Chemical warfare, more soft attack, and breakthrough. Yes, please. Happy 1914, my friends. This might be a decisive year for us. Ooh, what? Uh, get some more entrenchment. I think that'd be really important. Okay, you you guys are really... The Austrians are making me feel 
weird here. Eastern front. Guard the entire line, because I don't think the, the Austrians are really thinking about this at all. Which is not good, because I don't have the, the supplies to guard the entire line, Austria. What you doing, son? Unless they pull divisions off, which I don't think they will. That's good. 20, good. Just deploy them. Deploy them. I'm not going to do this until... I'm not going to raise this up until we have enough guns. So, oh my goodness, look at the deficits going up because we're deploying more soldiers. Oh my goodness. I wish we had more capability for defense. Look, we got more soldiers. That's nice. Stop doing that. Alright, now make sure everyone trains. We got 26 army XP. Uh, Ship-wise, we got more screens, which is nice. It's February. In April, we'll stop training and start trying to stockpile a little bit more fuel. Butterman tea, though, is really good. Ah, good. Dispersed industry is done. Next up, we shall do faster construction speed. Just build, 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 build faster. You know what? Mm. We're going to need some of this right now. There you go. Pogroms in Russia. Is this possible in the 20th century? Absolutely. Well, then. The murder, the murder was accused of a local Jewish resident. But evidence of his involvement, well, it might not be there. It wasn't objective. Threaten Holland. How about we make friends with the, Hall the Dutch? Can we get some military access? We just want to be peaceful Germans, that's all. Just the most peaceful Germans you've ever met. And you'll ever know. Uh, organization, that's nice, but Falkenhayn is the way to go. That's absolutely the way to go. Good, build this up first. We're almost done with that civilian factory. That's really nice. Just build, 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 build. 18 out of 20. Not bad, not bad. That gun deficit, though. Hmm. Mexico is having an identity crisis. Roughly 100 guns a day. That's not bad. But, oh my goodness. We need so many guns. We should have built that civilian factory. It's almost done by March 22nd. In two days, one days, and boom, it's done. Now I can focus a little bit more on the dockyard situation down here. That's not bad. Uh, if that's a case, just make sure we build up more ships. Actually, I'm going to put you up here first. Schleswig-Holstein. Yes. Go up to five first. If we ever get any spare stuff, we'll put some convoys. That would be very nice. Uh, over here. Be ah, befriend the Dutch. Good. Let's go ahead and grab... I like the capital ship attack. That looks really good. 15% uh, for cavalry and motorized. That's really not bad. Let's do that. And now we shall befriend them. War with France. We need more manpower in the field. God dang it. Uh, military advisors. Yeah, sure. Why not? So... Good, 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 good. And I do want to get to Fockers down here. Oh, what is that? Air research. Strategic bombing. Nah. We... This gives you this. Oh, that's not bad. The Fokker. I like the Fockers. And Aviation Cult, which is really nice. And we get... Ah, the Red Baron. Very good. Not good. Not good. Breaking out. But not really. Cool. Motorized. That's not bad. Uh, a cars. Can you convert you to... What was that voice? Can I convert you? Motorized, maybe? Now, that's looking better. The armor stay the same. You got a little bit more organization. That ain't too bad. Armored cars? What do we throw on that? That's not really good. That's... Uh... That's better. That's definitely better. Organization isn't bad. Soft stack isn't great, but the armor still is pretty garbage. <laughs> we might have to wait till we get, like, early tanks, really, to use them. If that's the case, go ahead, and I don't want to produce garbage. Let's go here. And let's raise this up by like three. There you go. Do that for now. Just because armored cars early on, probably not the greatest idea to use. Even though we produce quite a few of them. Whatever, whatever. And I also said I would have these guys stop training in April or something. Whatever. Repair. Everyone repair. Hang out. Go home. This is way too many capital ships without enough screens. That's really good to get. Uh, we could do this stuff, but... Mm, Go ahead and grab that one first. That'd be good. 13,000, oh my god. Alright, so who's gonna lead off World War One Now, historically, I think it began on July 28th. So, probably then, but... Hmm, I don't know. Three versus these guys. How strong is our defense, actually? Defensive-wise, 345. Almost 50 organization. 252 HP. We might be able to hold out, but Russia's looking pretty strong, man. Like I said... I have the cavalry here, just in case. I'm going to put you, like, back here. Because things can probably get pretty bad up here. Especially this tile. But 
like I said, we'll have to see. I don't know. I don't want to be responsible for Austria's border if they're not going to defend it. Hmm. Hopefully we can call in the Japanese and divert the Russians just a little bit. Are you still fighting? Huh. Military advisors, very good, very good, very good. And we have Atha Zimmerman, which we might not want to listen to later on. Let's do military mission in Turkey. Let's do that. We might want to get them in, so. Get get the Turks. Get, maybe get the Bulgarians. Do, do you want to join my faction, man? Darn it. Don't, but I wish I could send you stuff. I really wish I could send them planes or ships or something. Okay, like, guys, I know you hate the Serbs that much. I mean, oh, we need more. Oh, crap. We need more manpower. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. But, uh... Yeah, you might want to guard your own border, you bunch of dinguses. Like, bruh. You might want to guard it. I'm going to save up this political power so it can get some manpower once the war breaks out. Oh, military advisors. You lose a thousand manpower. Austria only gets German advisors. More, less experience gain and political power, but they get more division, organization, planning speed, and high command cost. That's not really worth it. I lose a thousand manpower, and they lose army XP gain and political power. That really does not seem worth it. Oh, even Denmark, maybe too. We might be able to help out. All right, so who's gonna uh, shoot the bullet? Nobody. I'm not being the aggressive one here. I'm totally just hanging out, having a good time. Let's raise our cap a little bit more, and we're out of manpower again. Let's see, 16. I don't really want to drop it any more than I have to. Mosul and Mexico's gone. Well, maybe we'll get a piece, maybe soon, for them. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh wait, I thought I told you guys to move. There you go. There you go. Well, we might not go to war on July 28th in a few days just because... Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. This is set to a historical and Mexico. Well, I thought Mexico would be at peace, but obviously not. Exploitation of the Galician region. Good. Good. And we're out of manpower again. There goes that manpower again. Woo! A lot of manpower. Motorized cavalry. <sighs> I shouldn't do this. But we're going to do it anyways. Just make sure that they're okay. Alright, that, that's just the main thing. We're out so many guns. Opening the Panama Canal, very nice. Our deficit of support equipment and artillery is going down, which is very, very nice. Now, obviously, the war hasn't broken out. It's August. So... I'm really just waiting for you guys maybe to do something. Military mission, nice. Befriend Bulgaria, yes. That might actually help them right now. Ah, they accept invitation to the Central Powers. Very good. The Ottoman Empire has decided to keep or accept our offer to join the Central Powers. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. We shall set aside our differences for now. Very nice. Oh, the anti... <laughs> the <laughs> the anti-Bulgarian League. Can you imagine you piss off your neighbors so much that they literally create a faction saying, Nah, son. This ain't it. Mm -mm. You gonna die. Oh, Hejaz is there. Oh. Well, you guys are still duking it out, I guess. Alright, so who wants to start World War One? France, are you up for the challenge? Republic's authority. Crush. Of course, you'd be crushing the Irish separatists. What else? That's such a British thing to do. Claims on Serbia. Now, France, Joseph. You're getting a little touchy there. And I want them to declare war on us to a degree, just so that we get Italy on our side. Because we're guaranteeing each other's independence, and they're guaranteeing them as well. You know what? We've had this for long enough. This is probably a bad idea. Uh-oh. What's going on? It's just, never mind. It's just a little laggy. Good. Good. Upgrades are nice. I love the upgrades. Go ahead and grab the better fighters. The better Falkers. I love the Falkers. Uh, did I ever see that movie? I might have seen that movie. I think I did. Good teeth. Indian revolt. Um, are you over here? No, that's Raj. No, okay, well, whatever. Out of manpower again, whatever. King Carl the First has died. Oh no. So the Eastern Front is looking actually pretty good. Come on, someone piss it off, piss people off. Railroads. Claims on Serbia, they might do something here. Claim on. Mm, you're guaranteeing our, their independence. You got claims, son. Why? Gains core. Oh boy, the London Pact. Disagreement with the Triple Alliance. Claim get to claim on Dalmatia and Zara. The cancel independence. Oh, 
blue pellet to fight him. That sucks. Let's see how far we can get, though. Uh, get some, get some of that. Chem ah, I love chemical warfare. So we do shock strikes for less supply consumption, soft attack, and heart attack, and land night attack for everyone. Or we get more breakthrough for tanks, which is okay. Recovery rate, infantry recovery rate, requisition. Uh, I'm probably gonna do shock strikes. Really buff up our infantry better, more and more. All right, we get a friend Bulgaria, which might actually start the war here. Scandinavian focus. We can screw this up for now. Scandinavian focus, maybe. Naval's dockyards, blockade the straits. American campaign. Oh, oh, I don't know about that, man. Oh, that might be nice. Uh, uh, I want I want to scan in even countries with us. I really do. Well, let's do this. Pearl of the British Crown. Claims on India. Because I want to split India up, if we can. Uh-oh. Bul Bul Bulgaria. Son, you can't afford that. They reject our offer. Are you kidding me? Uh, for now, we'll do this. Give me two things of fuel so we can just speed this up and get that as fast as possible. All oh, right, so it's 1914, November 6th. We're definitely not going to be home by Christmas. Uh, I kind of hope that they do that. We're going to do stuff over there. Demo democratism focus. I don't think I can manually justify on people. What, what can I do? We want the British stuff. Focus. We can't do that. We're with Holland. We need more manpower in the field, but I can't get any more manpower in the field. Can I justify on someone? Like France? No. We are at 36% world tension. I'm going to need you guys to finish this up as fast as possible. Numerical superiority. So you're trying to improve relations, but nothing's really happening. Well, I mean, we'll go as far as we can, man. Don't get me wrong. We'll go as far as we possibly can. And this army's almost done, which is nice. But we're really out of manpower. Ooh. Wow. All that for nothing. Cool. Let's go ahead and chief of navy, commerce rating... Oh, that looks amazing. Von Terpitz looks amazing. Plain stuff, air reformer, air experience gain, air superiority, 5%. That's not bad. Uh, I never do this one, just because we're going to use it all the time, so air superiority is probably pretty good. Army logistics, combat training time. Ooh, targeting. Subs are pretty good. Eh, go and grab that guy. Alright, would anyone like to go to war, please? Persia's with us. They like us. Can't just find the Raj. At least we got another ally here. Come on. Reorganized army. Import dependency. You know, whatever. They have a slight famine in the Ottoman Empire led by Abdul Mesed Khan. They have puppets, of course. They have some bad... Interesting officers. Not really bad. They're just kind of interesting. Ah, Pearl, the British Crown. Can I war with France, please? No. Not enough manpower, I understand. Uh, if that's the case... Oh, I can't destabilize the Raj. God dang it. Kaiser Lisha Abwehr. Rule Germania. You know what? This might just... Uh, at least 75 ships. God dang, we can't get there. Let's do the Scandinavian focus and see what happens. Mm. All right then, here we go. You guys definitely stop doing that. That is Schnikes. Schnikes. You son of a gun. Why did you leave that open? Do I have to do everything for you, my son? Uh, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down there. All oh, these horses are going to get beat. The snot beating out of them, probably. Um, please don't, please don't invade, please don't invade, please don't invade. Just let me get my guys down there first. Oh, they declared war on the Serbs, and they could probably call me in the war. Please get dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in, get some. Good. Oh boy. I mean, Austria, if you can win, that'd be amazing. Rural tensions at 51%. The Montenegrin... Oh, central powers. Everyone but me is in. Oh, they're just... Okay, so they're just fighting the anti-Bulgarian league. Are they guaranteed by anyone? Can I... Wait. You won't let me in the... Son! What the heck? Well, you're not my son, but your brother. We ain't gonna have a brother's war, but... Uh, uh... This is a weird World War One. not gonna lie. It's 1915, February 1st. We're still at peace. Well, I'm still at peace. The, they're doing a pretty good job. What is wrong with Serbian soldiers? Are they starving? Integration into Bosnia. Someone also recommended that I play as Bo uh, Bo Serbia. So, we might? Eventually? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, they're just, they're just walking in. They are just straight up walking in, and they might be... Oh, the Turks are involved, too. 
do you guys not like me, man? I mean, I, I know I'm the leader and all, but, like, come on, man. Oh, nice. You cut these guys off. That's really good. This might spell the end of Greece and the Anti-Balkan League. I'm very surprised that they, they had no guarantee of independence down here. Very, very surprised if that's the case. Can we still train? Oh, I got some Fockers. I love them. Oh, there they go. Uh, we want some close air support. We're going to really try to use those, too. Who are you fighting? Uh, sure, why not? Sure. Well, there goes the manpower. I st oh, they need 30% more strength. God dang it. Would you like... No. Oh, they're already in their own god dang faction. Oh, you piece of the garbo. I really don't want to abandon the line. I will give them some air support, though. I think that'd be pretty nice for them. Even though I don't think they really need it. I mean, they're doing pretty darn well. I can't do any ground support either, so... I mean, air support is looking pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. They still can't break this group, which really sucks, but whatever. What do we have here? Early fighters? Good. Fighter ones? Well, I'll take fighter ones, definitely. Guns. Go up. We're good on support equipment, too. That's really nice. Scandinavian focus? Cool. Into... Uh, okay. Huh. Pressure on Scandinavia. Invasion of Finland. Establish a Finnish monarchy. That sounds like fun. But I do want to... Hmm. Puts pressure on them. Befriend them? Ah, uh, Hindenburg program. Less daily political power. Research. That looks really good. Let's grab that, so. Nice. I'm trying to help you with air power, even though we're not really doing much up here. Cool. Excavation 2. I like it. I like it a lot. We might need that eventually. I'll just grab better reinforce rate. That'd be good, too. So what are we building? We're building a lot of roads. We might want to build more stuff than just roads, so go ahead and build up right. Oh, I'll say Serene. Oh, that's not bad. I oh, can build that one there, and then build up some more military factories. Something like that, you know. You're almost done there, so do that, too. And do that, too. Good. Very nice. I forgot we were just building... Wow, you guys are doing really well. I'm a little apprehensive here, though, to use my navy, because you never know what might happen. But it looks like they're doing pretty darn well, so well that I might just say, Hey, guys, you want to take a trip to the Mediterranean? Here we go! And they don't have to go around Africa to get there. So, that sounds like a lot of fun. Cool. We're still out of manpower. Can we actually do this without any allied intervention? And I hope to God we do not get any sort of, uh, or we don't have our ships stuck down here. That would be so bad if our ships were stuck down here. Oh my goodness. You guys are taking a while, but that makes sense since you're, you're shippies. Good. Oh my god. Oh. oh, hold on. Take, take that stuff off. Good. Just, just come here first. That's fine with me. We might get trapped in here, though. But that's really... Actually, that's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. That's pretty darn impressive. Improve working conditions. At this point, you might as well. Serbia's gone. The Austrians have done it. God dang. See if we can cut them off here at all. Maybe. Find any convoys. Do a little bit of naval raiding. Maybe Franz von Hipper will get... A little bit more skill or something? I don't know. Let's put you guys in half so we can have a second task force. Nice. Completely cut them off. Any convoys get sunk. Hey, hey, there we go. There we go. Hey, Albania is hanging out with us. Awesome. Love it when Albania hangs out and Greece is gone. Uh, what happens to the peace conference then? Oh, we're still fighting you guys. If that's the case, uh... Hindenburg program. We're going to do this. We're going to go back home. Just because I don't want to get trapped down there. So. Good job, guys. You sink, sunk a couple of convoys. You showed German naval dominance. Let's get the research bureau so we can get another research slot. And a bonus to electronics. I mean, this looks really disgusting, to be honest with you. But, uh. This ain't bad. This really ain't bad. Come on. Please win here. Please, for the love of God. It's only a single division. If you just keep attacking, you can win. Oh, don't tell me I need to move my cavalry around, down and around. Just come on, keep attacking. You guys got this. Train, maybe horses, maybe. Come on. They oh, oh. We almost had the war. We did it. Happy, happy 
Falcon time. But that's where we're going to end today's episode, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will begin World War One. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.